how to make these unique glass and cement vases coming right up. Marcy and welcome back. In this video, I share with you in 10 minutes or less how to make these gorgeous one-of-a-kind cement and glass bottle vases. Score two points for this one because number one, you are upcycling something that would otherwise go into the landfill and two, you get a very stylish decor piece for your home or for a gift. Actually, that's three. Okay, let's dive right into the project. For today's project, you will need a bottle of your choice or two, cement, something to mix it with, water, a bowl to mix the cement in, wet dry sandpaper, a pair of scissors, a pair of gloves, disposable, that's nice too, some tape. I'm using a combination of duct tape and painter's tape and I'll explain to you why we're using it, you'll see, and some upcycled folders to use as the mold. And that about does it for our list of supplies. Let's dive right into it. We're we'll gonna begin with by filling the interior here with some gold paper. We're gonna start making a mold. Show you exactly what to do. It's super easy and quick to try to get out some pieces of tape versus struggling with the duct tape. Now the duct tape we need because it has that plastic coating and that's gonna prevent the cement from attaching itself. So I'm gonna put everything in place. And you see this comes to the edge. You can see where that paper comes to the edge, the roll. And then what we're gonna do is form the exterior with another one of these and fill the cavity. So you can see why it's really important not to have any leaks here and have it sealed really properly. All right. What I'm gonna do is take the duct tape. Now, if it's easier for you to cut it down to your size before you tape it up, that's great. For me, it's sometimes easier to do it this way. Okay, looks good. I have the most adorable little apothecary jars and I have a, I have three, I actually have more than this, but right now I'm gonna work on three. And this time, instead of doing it this way, going up and filling it here, we're going to go down. All right. So I'm determining what size I want for it to stand on, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna wrap it like so. filling that part of the cavity with the cement, okay? The bottle ends about here and we want to make sure that it's very tight here so no cement gets through this area. I'm going to take one piece of duct tape. Okay, why is it important to cover this with all the tape? I know it seems like overkill, but honestly, it's not. The cement mixture can actually go through this lightweight folder material, this, uh, I don't know, this, some kind of carton material, folder material. 
So you don't want it to be leaking and that's, you don't want all your hard work for naught, right? You want it nice, neat, pretty. All right, so we have two already. We've got this one, this one, and I want them different heights. You see that, right? All right, so we want them different heights. It would be a great arrangement because don't forget, they're gonna be reverse. They're gonna be like this on the table and they're gonna be very nice. I like different heights. We're gonna do one more. Perfect, nice, nice, nice. Start with these first. What I thought was really interesting that I wanted to share, it kind of happened, well, not just kind of, it happened organically, where the green of the file folder kind of morphed into the concrete. Now I can take that out, but I like it. I really like it. And I actually think I'm gonna seal the concrete with this in there because I think it looks so fossil-like. And it kind of made these indentations very organic and I like it so you can see all the way around that was not my original intention but you know when you create art and one-of-a-kind pieces you can expect some originality out of it of course which is always a blessing I think it worked now these also worked I mean what really beautiful bud vases those are how special while I was cleaning up after our project, I noticed this little bottle that was to the side that I really wanted to include in the earlier project, but I had forgotten about it. What I did was I wrapped some of our carton, our cardboard around the bottle and I inverted it, of course, like we did before, and I filled it up. But the last step is I tinted some of the uh, cement mixture in with black Liquitex paint, and that's how it came out. And I really think that came out so beautiful very organic looking, very pretty, very, very nice. And I also did the same thing with one of our apothecary jars. I did the same exact thing, but this, these jars were already done, as you know, from our video that we just finished, you and I together. And what I did is I just wrapped the form back up and mixed a little bit of the concrete that was left from this that I had tinted and put on top here. And that's what came out with that. Is that cool or what? So it was done kind of in layers. I just think that came out so amazing, so yeah, super sexy. I mean, I know, how can cement and glass be sexy? But I think it is. It's so industrial, so modern looking. Rah! Okay, <sighs> let's move on and finish this up. Let's land this plane. Yeah, right here, you and I.
Remember, my friends, to take time and smell those roses. Mm. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful day.